Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to do a quick video. Um, I've explained this to the brothers and sisters in Christ out there, you guys, and about how to not get into fighting um, with lost people. Uh, I've seen brothers do this. I've seen so many people snide comments back and forth. Oh, we got to fight. We got to fight. And today I was watching uh, Brother Patrick and uh, it's Brother Patrick, but James and Patrick um, at uh, Ex Catholics for Christ. And I was watching one of his videos, so I started out a conversation um, asking a couple questions about Maranatha and the lady that he's talking about here. So I'm going down talking with uh, William Toy, and we're going back and forth discussing stuff, disagreeing with some stuff. And as I get down a good ways of, of us talking, Guess what pops up? Give me a second. Let's see if I can uh, see if I can make this larger, so we can actually read it. My eyes aren't doing so well. Thank you for all the prayers, brothers and sisters in Christ. If my eyes is doing great, but it just feels a lot better the bigger the letters are. When are you going to repent of your den lingerism? Um, like I linger in a den or something, I don't know. Um, but it has nothing, nothing to do with the conversation that William and myself are having. It's just out of the blue, he comes over here and he makes a comment meant to elicit a response, like a, a fighting response, okay, to offend. He doesn't comment to, re to offend you. He's purposely trying to offend me. Bible says we're not supposed to. Um, we're supposed to speak peaceably to all men. And if they get offended, then that's on them. Because if they don't like truth, um, you're going to offend people by preaching truth. But your intention is never to offend somebody, to go out looking to offend people. And that's all this Nave Wilson did. He's like, when are you going to repent of your den lingerism? I got to do it slow. Then lingerism, okay? And then I just said another person that likes to cause trouble, and I shouldn't even, I should have just ignored him, but I did say that. And then I went uh, back to talking with William about the discussion. And then all of a sudden, at the very end, you have another guy, Rich G. No one is more of a Calvinist than Brian, and notice he put a smiley face. He's not saying, hey, this is a fact, and I'm telling you this with love, and you need to be careful about that Brian guy. He put a smiley face on there because he's purposely trying to elicit a response from me. He's trying to offend me and get me to fight and argue with him, to feed his flesh. Now, I'm trying to encourage the brothers and sisters of Christ, ignore these people. There's times where... I'll, I'll look at their um, Facebook page and realize that this isn't their real account. I mean, look at this guy. Videos, playlist, channel. Discussion. About. I mean, no information. It's like this guy quickly made an account and it might still be linked to his regular account. It's like he just quickly made an account like he can hide and just attack people and feed his flesh. So if this account gets closed, his main account doesn't. Um, Rich G, he has a few created playlists, but he's showing nothing else. And a lot of these people I see, they have no pictures of themselves or something that they put on there. Okay. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, do not give in to the temptation to want to fight back. They're going to mock you. They're going to try to hit you where they think it hurts most. And I love Brother Brian out there, but Brother Brian sometimes lets them get to him too much. And he starts responding to him. And there's nothing wrong with responding to him in the sense of quoting scripture, saying they're wrong in this area, they're wrong in that area. The Bible says this. He's teaching false doctrine. The Bible says this. But when they get you so riled up that you're calling them sissy britches and closet um, sodomites 
And I'm not saying Brian does this, but I've seen, um, I've, I've heard Brian say sissy britches, but um, um, taking their names and twisting them like An Steve Andersnake, I think that's wrong because Steve Anderson is going to be called forward. Jesus is going to call him by his name and call him to step forward. And he's not going to say Steve Andersnake. <laughs> No, he's going to say, Steve Anderson, step forward. Depart from me, you curse into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Now, it's okay to say Steve Anderson is a snake, using that term snake, double-tongued. Um, but you shouldn't be mocking people's actual names that they're going to be held accountable to to God. He's going to call them by name, come forward. Um, don't fall into that temptation to fight with these people. Ignore them. If you look like right now, these guys, they're not really what I call real guys. They don't have accounts. This is like a secondary account where they get to go around and cause trouble on the, on the YouTube, on the internet. So they can pick fights and fight with people. Okay? But there's some people that I'll look at. It's their main account. I'll look at their channels and who they're subscribed to, videos they have on. Um, videos that they've liked and there's some people you get on there and they're into worldly music and weird satanic videos and stuff like that and when they're trying to correct you with the Bible I just preach the gospel to them and I'm done with them I'm not gonna argue the Bible with a lost person okay? but a verse to remember 1st Timothy 6 5 perverse, perverse um, now he's calling Brian a Calvinist, and Brian doesn't need me to defend him, okay? Um, then he calls me a den lingerism, okay? It's calling people names to purposely elicit a response. Um, perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds, okay? A lot of times these people attack you because they weren't dealing with the subject we were talking about, okay? and they have corrupt minds. Most of the time you talk to them, they don't believe in the true gospel. Um, and they're off in other areas that are major, like pre-time of Jacob's trouble, catching away the body of Christ, that we are caught up before the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, some of them uh, don't believe in eternal security, uh, dispensational teaching. I've had one person, I talked with him for a while, and come to find out he acted like he was a King James Bible believer, but then his true colors came through, and he wasn't even a Bible believer. So I just preached the gospel to him. You do not argue with lost people. You just show your love for them by preaching the gospel to them. And the destitute of the truth, they're not trying to start up a conversation about truth. When you make a uh, statement like that, or you make a statement like this, you're not trying to start, start, uh, strike up a conversation to talk about truth and to seek truth. Okay? They're destitute of the truth. They don't want truth. Supposing that gain is godliness. Okay, They're trying to elicit a response from you so they can fight you and fight you and say, Yeah, I got you. I win the, the debating, the arguing. I win. Supposing that gain is godliness. Okay, That gains them nothing. Okay. If you argue and you debate with these guys and you walk away with them not caring what you said and not even listening to what you said, you didn't gain nothing. Right? When they're lost, you preach the gospel to them. But here's the biggest thing. From such withdraw thyself. Okay, brothers and sisters of Christ, if, uh, link a gospel message or you can even type out the gospel. Preach the gospel to these lost people, and I believe some of them might be saved. They've just given in to their flesh and want to fight, fight, fight. I mean, we all know who has a YouTube ministry that's all about fighting and riling the flesh up and, you know, debating and fighting and purposely attacking, uh, pur purposely causing trouble. Okay. Not attacking truth, but purposely just constantly attacking people, and that's his ministry. Um, that should never be the main part of your ministry is calling out wolves in sheep's clothing. That could, that's part of your ministry and I've put some videos on my account showing it, uh, false teachers, but the brunt of your ministry should be to preach truth, preach the gospel, to encourage and lift up the brethren, 
Okay. Um, you, uh, and then, like I said, that those are the main ones. And then the ones that still matter, they're still important, is calling out false religions that are trying to pose as Christians and wolves in sheep's clothing. That's absolutely a part of a ministry. But it should never be your main ministry. It should never be calling out like attacking people over and over and over and over and over. Your ministry should not be, okay, these guys are going to make comments like that. I've got to fight back. I've got to retaliate. I had a man, now I don't know if he's truly a brother or sister, a brother in Christ, and he was mad at me for not going over to, um, what's it, uh, Edward P.F.'s channel. Why aren't you over there fighting and defending Brother Brian and King James Video Ministries? And I told him, it's pointless. You don't go over there and fight with lost people. You preach the gospel and you move on. That, and Brian doesn't need us defending him. He doesn't, okay? His videos speak for themselves, okay? His character speaks for himself. Um, if someone says Brian teaches this, I'll go in there, link videos, and say that's false. He doesn't teach this. But if someone's calling Brian names and trying to belitter, belittle him, if I can say it right, um, Brian doesn't need us to defend him. Okay? If I had another brother in Christ that they were doing the same thing to, he doesn't need us to defend him. Um, I'll defend. I will defend the Word of God. I will defend my Savior, the real Jesus Christ, of the Godhead. Okay? But I don't need, like I said, Brian doesn't need me defending him. And this right here is just all to elicit a response. You say you're doing a video on it. I'm not responding to these people. I'm responding to brothers and sisters in Christ out there. Don't let them tempt you trying to get you into fighting and arguing. Don't let them do it. Okay? Remember, from such withdraw thyself. Right? Preach the gospel to the lost. Correct brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, if someone's lost and, and saying so-and-so teaches such and such, uh, whether it's ex-Catholics for Christ, King James Video Ministers, uh, Ministries, um, whatever. Uh, you can correct them and link videos that these people do saying, no, he does teach eternal security. No, he does teach the pre-time of Jacob's trouble. Yes, he does teach, teach the true gospel, you know, the true Godhead. You can correct them and link videos to show anybody who's reading that comment that that person's a liar. But honestly, if anybody's truly seeking truth, you don't take a man's word for it. You look into it. You investigate. Right? Is this man truly teaching it? They told me about Edward P.F. I was like, uh, I didn't. I don't know. People keep asking me. I don't know about it with PF, and eventually it just got to the point where I had to look into them, um, and then it's like I can say and attest what a lot of those people were saying because I saw it. I investigated it. Uh, Robert Breaker for the longest time. Everybody's saying Robert Breaker's great. Robert Breaker's great. I couldn't say one way or another. I never looked into him. Then there's people coming out saying that Robert Breaker's you know false. He's He's, uh, he's not a Bible believer. He's lost and on his way to hell. He's a servant of Satan. All this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. I can't say either way. I didn't just come out and go, amen, amen. I didn't know either way. And finally I got pushed into looking into him and knowing that he doesn't teach the true gospel. Um, he's still for the Trinity. He keeps going outside the Bible. Like I said, I looked into him and now... I have a foundation to say the man is lost, he's not saved. But if someone's truly seeking the truth, just because one person or 50 people say, this person's lost and, lost and on his way to hell, you look into the guy and see if what they're saying is true. Okay? From such withdraw thyself. So brothers and sisters from Christ, I implore you, don't get into the fighting on the internet. Don't get into the debates, the arguing, uh, falling into the trap of attacking each other personally, where you're starting to attack them personally and making names for them and, and all kinds of stuff that you're not to. You're supposed to pe speak peaceably unto all men. Now, I wish I could find that verse. Oh, 
gosh, it's always so hard. <laughs> and that's not it either. And then you do it this way and there's a million of them. Um, I'll look it up, um, but there was verses I came across, and I, t I mentioned it in other studies where it talks about how we're not supposed to purposely, our goal is not to go out there and purposely offend people, and we're not to purposely go out there seeking a fight, and uh, I think we're supposed to, it might be live peaceably. Yes, here it is. If it be possible, as much as live within lieth in you, live peaceful with all men. Okay, all men, not just saved, all men. So our goal is not to go out there purposely trying to offend people, purposely trying to fight people and attack people. Okay, the attacks will come when you stand for absolute truth. Okay, so I love my brothers and sisters in Christ out there. I am praying for you, and a lot's been going on in the world, and just stay in the word. Stay in prayer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.